All right, time for another attempt, methinks. Uh, let's double check. Anybody want to talk, though? Nobody want to talk? Anybody want to talk, talk? Maybe? Nope. Okay. So we're going to try this again. I've got a bunch more gallons now. We've got our snipper being a lot healthier. We got you to four stars. Okay. One more, one more try. Okay, difficulty experienced. Isn't that... Yeah, that's what we've currently got. Okay. Loadout. So, we're not taking Butterbolt. He's still only level 2. Hmm, do we take the Captain or Vavonsky? Let's take the Captain. Give her a better gun. Did I get my better gun? Hmm. I think this one might be what we've got, but I'll double check. Uh, yeah, that's what we got. Okay, we've got a repair box, sidearm. Nobody has the grenade ready yet. Sally, 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 Sally. Let's give you a scrapper sidearm. We're not giving you the repair oil, are we? Yeah, we'll give you the repair oil. So we gave light armor to him. In that. Do we want the SMG? I think so. Yeah, okay. Hmm. It's a real question. You or grenade? I think we go with grenade. Alright. We're trying this again. I don't know if I've loaded the previous episode since it was just basically failure. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Alright. So everybody, let's check. We know there's a lot to the right. And some to the left. So I think we go left first. Hmm. And by the time we come back, people will probably be reappearing and doing stuff, but it'll be a shorter jaunt to the left. That's my theory. Okay, the only question is, do we start guns blazing yet? I think the answer to that is nah. Go here. You go right here. And then we have C Brass bringing up the rear. Guard Sally. Okay, we'll have Seabrass go in guns blazing first, next turn. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit. Just a wee bit. Okay, so Seabrass, go open that. Okay, so we see three robots, one of whom is this dude with 14 health. Hmm. Don't think we can take him in one. Could be wrong. There's that dude right there. And there's an explosive behind us if we go there. Hmm. Grenade won't reach the whole way, and it does do decreased damage the further away the blast is. Uh, if I go here. Put Piper behind me here. Fire there. Hmm. You deal seven. Uh, we'll make sure you do more damage. Oops. There's that. I was hoping Sally would be able to do more. But we're gonna be a little bit crazy. Up. So we get our second shot off. Gonna be aiming for the face. So that's half its health, and then it healed one. Oh, it's hiding behind the explosive? Okay, that was the best case scenario for all this. Hmm. With that being the case, we are moving the captain up to here. Sea brass will also move. 
we have our payback. So we could fire with our wonderful captain, but I think we'll do this. Because we get multiple shots off. So we ensure that's a KO. Okay, then... Okay, we can't go into the middle yet. I'm gonna move over here with Piper. Sally... We could open it, but I think we'll just go up here. We'll get a little bit closer. Alright. Can she open it? No. Only Sally can. Okay. So we can do that. We can get two shots off. Anybody else appearing yet? No. Okay, but still we can get two shots. If I move a little bit closer, that should be fine. So fire. Oh, okay. I was thinking we'd have to shoot that again. Uh, I don't see any health on it. I want to shoot it again just to make sure. Okay. Captain, go get us that beautiful loot. Sea brass is going to hold down the fort or get some loot. Get some loot. Go for it. Okay. He'll be holding down the fort. Alright, we can't go in yet. We have to keep moving. Onward and upward. Uh, Sally, you go over here. And sea brass could open the next area. But I think we'll wait to make sure everybody is over here. Alright, this is going much better than usual. Okay, sea brass. Go ahead and open it. Let's see what we got. A lot of craziness. But also, snipers would be good here. We can shoot through the floor. There's a sniper down there. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. We could throw a grenade, but no real point, especially with this overhang right there. Let's go boop. And wait for it. Okay. Hmm. Where to? Okay, there's another little room down there, too. That's important to note. It looks like it might be a long one. Hmm. Well, we're going here with Piper. Captain, make your approach. Sally, Sally, Sally. Well, we do want to be all together. So we should do that. Let's go over here. And then I could try... I do have the scrapper sidearm, don't I? It's a free shot. It's only got four health. We have inspired. I wonder if it deals more damage or not. But the angle of that means we'd have to bounce it off just right. Hmm. So no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to hide behind this barrel. Threat level one. It's not great for us. Okay, nice shot. Mm, right, and by nice shot I mean it wasn't! Ah! Take that food. Okay. Um, let's do this. I've got a scrapper sidearm as well. Fire. It was just three damage. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> oh, the rebound. Okay. So, Sally. Hmm. We are going to go up here. Regret that we don't have our perfect 7 damage with our inspiration. But it's fine. And then we can get a second shot off. Um. But can we hit anything? That is the real question. Like, if we try to ricochet off that barrel, would it work? That would be a weird shot. We'll try it. Nope. Okay. A little bit more forward. And we could grenade the both of them. I think I can reach. Right? Grenades are weird. 
No, we cannot reach. Good enough. Okay. Right, I think we can shoot them in the feet. And that might prevent them from moving. A little bit of damage. Okay. We're close to an explosive barrel, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, hmm. Let's check out down here. There is one dude. We have a power shot. Let's go over here, get some money. Sally. Could get some money. But I think not. What we could do instead is go down here. Do I want to scrap or sidearm this guy? Yes. We will ensure the KO this way. Like that. <laughs> Unfortunate. But, uh, oh well. And then I can't shoot anything else. Alright. We're happy. Sea brass. Hmm, still can't reach them, really. Uh, I think we can still shoot that other dude in the feet. Can we shoot you in the feet? Not really. Oh, okay, yes. We do. Sweet. Hmm. Okay. Well, that guy appeared. Um, go get this loot. And think about life for a minute. We could probably ricochet and hit this guy in the face. Five to six damage. This one might not be enough. It's gonna be on the sidearm. Okay, if I do it like this, is that good enough? Yep. Okay. So I want this loot. It's a little bit dumb to do that, but oh well. Did that. Okay, sea brass. I was thinking could shoot down through there. Which might be a little dumb. Yeah, this is going to be a little, a little crazy. Yes. Okay. So we <laughs> we can protect from one shot maybe, but there's hey, what's the deal? Okay, that worked out. Weirdly enough. Okay, so Piper, you go up here. Sally, can we ricochet all this stuff? Hmm. Not particularly well. But I think if we do this, we're a little bit protected, and maybe we can ricochet it. In theory. Okay. In theory. My theory seems very flawed to me at the moment, but uh, we're gonna try. What if I do like right there? Nope. Not good enough. Alright. We just used a scrap for sidearm. I'm disappointed. Oh well. At least now we know. Uh, sea brass is definitely going to retreat a wee bit. You know what? This seems decent enough. Let's try to get this right there. And... Ah! Oh, no! So yes, grenades also do move around a bit. That is something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up, whatever it is. Okay. Well, they're both moving... Oh! Well, that was rude. Sally, what do we want you to do? Okay. Remind me what you do. Unlimited kill shots, so it has to be a kill shot. Hmm. See, perhaps. Alright, so. With Piper, let's move forward a little bit. Power shot. Bunk. Can't move. No reason for unlimited kill shots, as far as I can tell. 
I bet that explosive barrel will kill. We don't need to be that crazy. I did both. Nice. For some reason I thought I was behind cover. Clearly, I am not. Uh, we are going to blow up that. Deal some damage. We have payback. Is this a free? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. If I get hit by this guy, I could die. That is enough damage. However, we have a jump. And I am wrong. I keep thinking payback will make it deal even more damage on each shot, but I don't think that's true. Okay, that guy's running toward this. That guy will probably... Oh, I'm alive. Sweet. Okay. Well, we clearly need to go to the right. I can't shoot with Piper, so we're just going to pick up the loot. Could run back with Sally, get some plus one damage, but there's no need. There's that sniper guy behind us. Okay. So Sally... That guy. Okay. I think if I do this, I won't die. And that's the best way to take care of that guy, I think. And then I can still shoot. And in theory... No, that's probably not gonna work. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I could ping it off of there and hit that like that, but... I don't think that angle's gonna work. What about... No, no. Just not gonna work as far as I can tell from there. However, maybe down here, maybe it would. If I got the angle just right. Maybe. No, it's gonna bounce way too much. Oh, we'll try that. Yep, too much bounce. Okay, so do we try to blow up this dude with our wonderful machine gun and stuff, or just run forward and heal? I think we run forward and heal. Run forward. Heal. I still have payback. Can he shoot when he first appears? No. Okay. That guy, on the other hand, he's been here a lot. Now we're doing this. We can go ahead and shoot that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and pick up the loot. We'll shoot it on our way out. Okay, we got Sally. Got that dude below us. Uh, let's go... Where's a good place to shoot this guy? I guess right here. They were kind of covered from the dude chasing us a little bit. But everything ahead... I think our payback will make this work pretty well. Oh my gosh. I is wrong. Um, moving over here. Is this, yes, this is a free action. Okay. We have our kill shot. Can I? Well. I'm gonna try. Nope. Ah, oh, well. He's just running for us. Run in and go. Uh, go right here. How much health does this thing have? I guess it doesn't matter. So we finally destroyed both of those. Per successful attempt. Yay. And then we can get in there and destroy whatever's in there. We just need to make it there. Alright. So Sally and Seabrass. I think Seabrass has the best chance of just outright killing this guy. We'll just go as close as we can. Ah, no headshot. I was thinking we could headshot. Can I shoot through, my friends? I think I can. Yes, I can. Alright. Uh, anybody else up here? No. We're almost on the third skull thing. And that's the end of the room. Okay, that guy appeared. Piper. 
We have your power shot. That'll just be six to seven damage. So there's a good chance we don't KO. Not unless somebody stands by us. Mm. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is this. Hmm. Five to six. Six to seven would not be enough, so... Well, not all the time. So we're just going to try this. Okay, that works, so now we can send two people forward. Nobody has appeared over here yet. All right, so we can just move as far as we can. Okay. Same deal. Sally has better movement. Go figure. Alright. We are moving Piper forward. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, Sally, go ahead. Oh. Are we done? Yeah! Okay. Uh, Seabrass, go ahead and guard from this direction. Piper, go ahead over here. Guard. Go over here. Okay. We got everything. We made it. <laughs> That's a difficult mission. But it just worked out pretty well that time with not getting too many guys initially. So sometimes it's just the RNG, I think. Oh, more rusty light armor. Okay. We have a better version of armor, technically. Gallons. We got the heavy chopper hat. Ooh. Maybe there were cannibal wars in the past. Maybe robots ate. Ooh, a distress message. With map coordinates pointing towards an unknown source. It doesn't disclose the severity of the distress, but somebody's obviously in need of help. So now we have to sell one item. So as you can see, I've already got rusty light armor, so I'm probably going to sell one of those. Uh, I have sold a lot of other stuff like the uh, AoE damage things because they seem to do almost as much harm as good. So off we go. And the hermetic herring things, I think I talked about it last recording that I may not have posted, but they were just money. They weren't unique. I got a second one. Ooh, 911. So 300 XP each. And that was 22 minutes. So that took seven times as long as the solo mission. And so I could have basically done seven of those and gotten 1,400 XP in the same amount of time if I'd, you know, worked pretty quickly on that. So that's interesting to think about. I think that solo mission is still the best way to grind XP. And it drops like the Hermetic Herring. Tuna thing. It's like 1,600 gallons each. I only got it once as a drop from that, though. Anybody want to talk? No? Fine, crew. Okay, you're not going to talk to me. All right, so we've got our map. What's this? A stranded freighter. Okay. And then we want to talk to the people over there. So let's check out this stranded freighter. Hopefully it's not a combat scenario. It is not. Hello, dear friends who need help. We come to help. Probably. So this is their navigator section. There's a little periscope. Aha! New friend? Everything okay? We found a distress message leading us here. Beatrix. Huh. I was shipping explosives to the miners when some scrappers hit. I beat them off with some well-aimed mortars, but they got away with a lot of my wares. An explosives expert would be a good addition to our crew. You're welcome to join us, soldier. Wouldn't mind to see some action. You sure as heck look like a combat accustomed fighters. Beatrix Bia Bach. Okay. Beatrix is a soldier without an army, the last in a long line of soldiers just looking for a war to fight. Knows how to clear a path with explosives. Cost free? Yes. I won't let you down, Captain. I was born to fight. Reporting for duty. Yeah, Alright. Well, I'm glad we can help somebody. Also gaining an explosives expert. Do you have anything else to talk about, Beatrix? Maybe. Hoorah. Very well. Seems very much marinish. Okay. Let's go back over here. Yeah. Low loves. Alright. We'll have to check what Beatrix's class and everything is. Uh, I should have paid more attention on that recruiting screen, but I just wanted to say hello. 
Save that for another time. Uh, we want to talk up here, eh? Hello. Taps wire. Quite a difference, eh, Captain? Sure is, but I'm afraid it won't last for long. The Scrapper army is still growing. We need to take care of their leader, this mother tech necromancer. Thanks to you, some of my little steam buddies have surfaced again. Word is, a large smelter of a bot named Chop Su is calling the shots of the Scrapper gang. She has a small chop shop closer to the core. Well, we need to go have a serious talk with her then. Better be careful, Captain. She seems crazy enough to start a war with the Royal Space Force. Hmm. Anything else up here? Let's see. Did we finish this from Myrtle? Hmm. We haven't found that yet. Oh, all right. Da, da, da. Do we want any of these? Nah. Honestly, a lot of these you can find as drops, especially if you're grinding for XP on that Lone Ranger thing. I got the speed boots several times. I just don't think they're super good enough to take up a spot. Oh, hey, people want to talk. Now you want to talk. I've never been this close to the car before. It's nothing like farm life in the far reaches of the outskirts. This is more like a vacation paradise. Folk here are soft like tinfoil. The Tecromancer can't be that tough if she's holding out here. Being closer to the core is all but safe. You got the Royal Space Force right next door. Hmm. Time to harness that rage of yours, Gabriel. Sorry, I was thinking that was zebra. <laughs> if this reanimating business is half as bad as I think, we're in for quite a fight. Yar, what are we waiting for? Let's kill all the witch. All bagger and dagger, just like back at the farm. <laughs> If there's something left when I'm done with her, you're welcome to it. Okay, you call Deebs. Do, 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 do. Ivanski looks strongest, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. The dumbbell really says it. Hoorah. Fair enough. What about you? This Tecromancer sounds nasty, don't you mind? Doesn't sound that bad, does it? I'm known as somewhat of a Tecromancer myself. <laughs> you get it? Tecromancer. Because, you know, we're automatons. You're... that's bad. That's quite enough. <laughs> oh, Valentine. Now I get the name. Okay, wonky. Seems like this chop shoes turned her shop of horrors into a scrapper factory. I wonder how a smelter like her got hold of such powers. Stealing and chopping up ships is one thing, but combining parts of different bots. She might have gotten away with her chop shop earlier. But the Royal Space Force won't ignore this. That's right. Let's go take care of Chop Sue before she ruins the outskirts. Okay. Looks like we got a little ways. Oh. What is this? Oh, it's the space train. Okay, so that's the quest. We'll do that next time, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Steam World Heist. Subscribe to see more I was Game videos. Comment below on who your current favorite characters are in Steam World Heist. And have a great day.